Well, I, I just so you guys, we're with so Hank know. Chen here, and Hank, you're currently the, the yeah, world record holder record. with Donkey yeah, Kong. That's right. So what better person to show you going through some <laughs> waves um, and just talking out initial strategies. I know there's a lot to the game, obviously, yeah. but we're going to go through a uh, starting wave through the Pi Factory. So yeah, any so kind of techniques, feel free to just call it out, your point pressing, anything like that. So for the battle board, if you're playing for safety, you should just uh, skip that bottom hammer. <laughs> it could have gotten me. <laughs> so the top hammer is usually pretty safe, although that was a little bit of a danger. And then there's something called steering barrels, which means if you run toward a ladder, the, the, it didn't do it that time, but it didn't do it again. Are they harder to control with the earlier boards? Yes, okay. the control is not as... Uh, that, You're not as that influential. Yeah. Like the that feature was actually, I think it was meant to make it harder because uh, the barrels are in a sense following you. Um, so if you're headed toward a ladder, uh, the game thinks that you're gonna go up that ladder, but actually you can use it. You can uh, use that to fake the barrels out. You can pretend you're going toward the ladder when you're not. And then for the rivet, you clear. There's a couple of different patterns. With the what most people do is clear every rivet on the left side except the second one, and then grab the hammer and run across. And that way, when you smash the fireballs, they're trapped on the left side. That's the cigarette pattern. Is that right? I think that's what the ad that How to Win That Don Kong guy describes it. Are there five? I think I'm waiting for the fifth one. Oh, there are five. And then this is a little leeching trick. Um, if you stand next to Kong and you jump and hit right, you can get 100 points. All right, I won't do this too long because it's going to get boring. So what's a good ending score for this second board? Uh, for a beginner, about 10,000. I think for going for a world record, about like... 20,000 maybe, okay. but uh, it depends on what your, for a beginner about 10,000 is good, good ending level, ending score. And then level 2, the barrel control gets a little bit better. Again, skip the bottom hammer. If you get the bottom hammer, the, the, the screen is going to pile up. So you're trying to group those together to get the 300? For those two yeah. But let me see if I can demonstrate a battle control. You see how if I run toward the ladder, it's more likely to go down it. Watch. I didn't do it. Didn't do it again. I didn't do it again. Let me try to demonstrate. Watch. Okay. I didn't do it. So when is your influence the most with the barrel? Is that it, like the it maxes out on level four. Four? Okay. On level four, it's, the control is about 75%. Okay. Right now, it's about 50%. 50, right? I think, yeah, 50%. And then the springboard. Uh, okay, so there's two. You have to know about two safe spots on the on the top platform. One, the first safe spot, you can edge a little bit to the left of uh, the top of the ladder, and you'll never get hit by a spring. And then the second safe spot is uh, if you look at the floor, there's a yellow. There's two yellow um, floor pieces. To the right edge of the, uh, the the yellow yellow piece on the right is a safe spot. So I'm gonna wait for a spring to pass by and then run to it. So right here is a safe spot. Like I'll never get hit by a spring. Um, so the thing to notice about this board is that the springs bounce in all different places. Uh, some bounce more to the left, some bounce more to the right. Now you want to run up the ladder on one that bounces more to the right because that gives you more of a head start. Uh, and the, my point of reference is that first yellow piece, the ones that bounce more to the right line up with that first yellow piece. So you see how that one bounced more to the left, that one bounced more to the left, more to the left, more to the left. 
See that one bounced, you see how that one lined up? So that's the one that you want to run on. So on the earlier boards it doesn't matter because there's more, uh, more of a leeway. But on the later boards the springs get come out faster or more tightly packed. So, um, so you have to, uh, 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 you need like every split second you can get when, when the springs are packed, packed, tightly packed. So the same thing, I'm going to smash them. The, f the fireballs always reappear on the opposite side that Mario's on. So since I cleared out the left side, I want to stay on the right side of the screen so that when they reappear, they get trapped. Except when they, when they appear on the bottom, they can come up the right again, but... So is there any influencing the fireballs? They just do their own thing. I don't believe so. There's people argue about it, but I don't think yeah. there's any way to influence fire. Beyond your, you can kind of lead them up and down, but left and right, I don't think there's any way to influence them. Um, the fireballs, if you're um, if you're above the or at the level of the fireballs, they will never go down. So I'll demonstrate that. Let me see if I can. Watch, like, you see how the fireballs on the left? Those those two that are already up, they won't go back down because I'm at the same level. Or, I'll, let me go all the way up here. Like, up here, those guys will never go down either. See? So, but as soon as they go down, they can go down. Some people think if you charge, I think it's actually in the that booklet, the How to Win at Dot Kong. Some people think if you charge a fireball, it's more likely to turn around. Okay. I don't believe it, but that's what some people believe. And the, the wild barrels on level 3 are deadly, like that. Oh, the wild barrels. The, yeah, the wild barrels. The wild barrels actually become more predictable later in the game. The later in the game, they're 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 like ho slow heat seekers. Whereas uh, on on this level, they're like uh, like ping uh, pinball. Let, let me wait for it to throw a wild barrel. They kind of like pinball off the uh, off the girders. Away from the throw a wild barrel. Of course he's not going to throw a wild yeah, barrel. taking his time now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you want a wild barrel, you don't get one. Tom knows. Tom always knows. It's supposed to be one in eight or sixteen, something like that, but I'm not doing it. I'm going to run out of time. That is hilarious. <laughs> I think I broke the world record for the longest streak without yeah. a wild barrel. <laughs> Must be a hack board. <laughs> wow, no wild barrels. This machine is hacked. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and it was, it was the... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so on the pie factory, on the third pie factory, there's three fireballs. So I wait for them to come out on the left side. The fireballs on the pies always come out the same side as Mario's on. So if you if you saw the, I waited for a split second on the left. So they all spawn. So they all spawn on the left, and then you run up the right. So that'll work at least half the time. So now level three uh, L, uh, springs, it gets a little faster. The, 
When I say faster, I mean more tightly packed. They're actually traveling the same speed. So wait, when we're running left, I want to wait for one that bounces more to the left. And then when I'm running right, I'll wait for a good one. Now is, is the high score at a level right now to where if you're not going to pressing from the very beginning, there's no way you need to get close? Oh, definitely. You yeah, need to. Yeah, you need points at the beginning. Okay. You so need if to. If I was playing casual, what would be a game if I actually got to the kill screen? Is it like 700? If you were just running boards, it range probably about 840,000 to about. I mean, even some people got 900,000 running boards. Because I, I was just curious, and I did it on main while back to the same state of it. I wanted yeah. to get to the end and see if it wasn't at all. Yeah, so it's interesting. Yeah, it's just, it depends on how effectively you run through the game. Because you rely mostly on timer points. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I, I I get without doing anything special, I get 940 now when I'm running boards. Yeah, it, it doesn't and take I think much to get a score like that. Well, and Ross Ross does even better. Like Ross Ross is like just running boards. Ross can get like I don't know 970 or something. Yeah, just running boards, something ridiculous. Because <laughs> I mean, if, if people on barrel boards, they'll grab the top hammer right away. If you wait for barrels to come out, you can smash a few more, and that's. That's three to nine hundred points more per barrel board, and then that's fifteen thousand points to thirty thousand points at the end of the game. Alright, so the barrel control is gonna get good on this board. Watch, I'm gonna pick that one up. Oh, so do you remember your score with your first uh, kill screen game? Oh, that was fun. Sorry, well, I was talking okay. to you. <laughs> uh, my first kill screen was 897. 897, yeah. okay. So was it you were trying to get the kill screen before? Really? Oh yeah, like, I was just running boards at that yeah, time. Yeah, okay. How about you, Robbie? Uh, my first kill screen was, I think I believe it was 866,000. Uh, so that's about the average range. Um, that's all. Once you're really into it, you just want to press it. You don't care right. about pressing. You just want to uh, just get as far into the game as you can, look at first morning, and then once you get to the kill screen, that's when you want to learn how to get more points now that you know you're capable of getting to the end of the game. Let me see if I can demonstrate the battle control. <laughs> so we're hanging out at Donkey Kong, you know, King Chen's here. King's got a little record. Yeah. He's a fast player. Do you have a good game, Hank? Oh no, I'm just I'm just running boards. I'm oh, just you showing, are? Yeah. I'm just showing, uh, giving some oh, tips. Oh, you you? Oh, cool. So on level 4, there are 4 5 balls. So wait for 4 to come out, then run right. But you see, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> hey, what's up? Did I screw up your thing? No, no. Did you play any more games in the tournament? No. 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 Okay. Sorry. We have to play Final Lap before we go. Yeah, we can go. <laughs> Yeah, I see the hand from Yep. <laughs> Tongue doesn't move. <laughs> the oil can neither. <laughs> so he, is he doing your tread you got, you got a lot of already? Yeah, what are you Alright, so I'm going to, the barrel control should be good now, so if I run toward it, it run, you see how it comes down when I run toward it? Oh, it didn't do it. So Robbie, I'll probably introduce you. Yeah, yeah. You want to take over, Robbie? 
Alright, so we're here with Robbie. Uh, you're also a big contender in Donkey yeah. Kong. Good, yeah. good, great player. So, yeah. what is your, your ranking and your highest score? Uh, right now, I'm currently fourth on the arcade, uh, fifth between arcade and AMA. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you been playing? I've been playing for about two and a half years now. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, you have your own machine, is that how you Yep, so I have my own machine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I learned on this machine, and then once I got my own machine, and uh, I just kept playing from there, and kept raising my support. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're streaming on Twitch, so what's your Twitch name? Uh, it's twitch.tv slash Lakeman421. Okay. Yeah. Robbie, what's your favorite Donkey Kong game? Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
I have the last few levels recorded, but I did the the first like 75% of the game. I was didn't think I would do it. Do, do you hold records in any other games or any other games you're really into? Um, I mean, I like I like Centipede, but I'm not I'm not nearly as good as a world record holder. Okay. I have a the world record in this uh, garbage meme game called Checkman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dead. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And the later levels, do you still like point press that fireball on the right? Like, say, the uh, the I don't, bit. but some people do. I do it. Uh, I can show you when I, when I play. Okay. Yeah, yeah there are advantages in this game. Do you always go for that point down there and this one? And yep. then then go over and press yep, the fireball. Yeah, try, try to grab all three objects. Yeah. Um, yeah, really not point pressing the fireball too much unless it's there conveniently. You don't want to waste too much time. You want to take over? Yeah, I'll take over. Thanks a lot, man. Really oh, appreciate yeah. it. For a little while there, I was playing my Donkey Kong machine for a while. I kind of just dropped it. 